Welcome back to the channel guys. We're back with another quarter pipe trick this week. We're gonna learn how to do axle stalls on quarter pipes. Now an axle stall, for anyone who doesn't know, is a stall where you go up the quarter pipe. I'm gonna jump down so I can show you. Where you go up the quarter pipe, you turn your board and you land on both the axles like this. And then you lean back into the ramp, turn in and ride away. So for this trick, you guys are gonna to wanna to be able to do some pivots. And you're probably gonna to wanna to have the ability to drop in or roll down a nice big bank in so you can get a lot of speed, enough speed that you can actually reach the coping with your back truck. So for this trick, you're gonna to wanna to be able to pivot quite high on the ramp, high enough that you're almost getting your back wheel over that coping. Maybe you're able to pivot around here and you can just gain a little bit of speed and start to get it where your wheel actually starts to go over this coping. You can go quite a straight line at the ramp or you can even come in at an angle if that makes it easier. If you do come in at an angle, you might slide when you hit the coping because metal on metal slides very easily. You're gonna come up the coping with your board and you're just gonna start to turn nice and early so that your wheel goes on that coping and you lower your front track so the board actually balances on the top. One key tip I give in my lessons is that you can always break a trick down. You can break tricks into two or even three parts sometimes. This trick has a clear in and a clear out. So you can actually learn the in part first and you can learn the out completely separately. Maybe you can learn them on the bank or a really mellow quarter pipe. Learn to drop in completely separate from actually getting into the axle stall. One thing to be mindful of with this trick is that some people tend to actually go too fast and they land way on top of the deck. They land with their wheels too far on the top where they're not even hooked onto the coping anymore. Their wheels are actually on the top and there's no way they're gonna turn in without hooking their wheels up. And another thing people do is they lean too far onto the deck. So they lose their balance and they start to tip backwards. Into the ramp a little bit like this. So you're always ready to tip yourself back forward once you turn the board into the ramp and away. Getting back in from this trick is actually very simple. You've got your feet on the bolts, your back foot's on the bolts, and what most skaters do when they do axle stalls is they actually kick their back end out. So this wheel is actually dangling out from the coping. That way, there's no chance of twisting and that wheel rolling backwards. If you kick your back foot end out, then what you can do is you can use your toes, your toes are gonna to be this side of the board, push your toes down, so the board's gonna tip down into the ramp this way, and you can actually pivot, turn your arms, push your toes down, pivot, lean forwards, and you and the board should roll away really cleanly out of the axle stall. This trick can seem kind of scary because you might worry that your trucks and your wheels are actually gonna hook up and catch on this coping, which would result in you falling. But as long as you lean your body forward into the ramp, this is gonna keep pressure on the toe side of your board, pressure on these wheels, and it keeps these wheels, this back foot wheel in particular, hooked on this side of the coping. So the wheel is actually then gonna be hooked with all the pressure of your toe. The wheel will be hooked there, and that will allow you to pivot off of this wheel in particular. So you're keeping your weight down this way, and all your, your weight on your toes is going to make sure that that board doesn't go backwards. It always comes forwards and the other wheel comes this side of the coping too. Try this out on a bank to start off with or a really small quarter pipe before you take it to the big quarter pipes. The main thing is building up your confidence in doing this trick and just following out the methods, what you're doing with your feet, what you're doing with your body, first off, build up your confidence and then take it to the next obstacles. So I hope you found this really interesting and helpful in learning how to axle stall. This is a really great trick that opens up so many tricks in skate parks and skateboarding in general. You can learn grinds on this trick and a whole different types of stalls. So get out there, have fun, take your time, stay safe and thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media at Skateboard Academy UK. Thanks for watching, catch you very soon.